Lisa. First of all, it would be disrespectful if we did not acknowledge Miami. That's a hell of a club over there. They played great. Now, how about them damn Celtics? On behalf of the Boston Celtics, I am getting this trophy right now for the Eastern Conference guys who just won it. And I'm handing it over right now to the old man, Al Horford. January, you guys were three games under 500. Just how did you get here? How were you able to turn it around? Man, uh, first of all, honor and glory to the Lord for putting us in this position. Um, grinding. We stayed with it. We believed in each other. We made a commitment on the defensive end. That was the biggest thing, defending, and that was going to be our identity, and that's what's carried us this far. Al, 141 playoff games for you to reach the finals. What has that weight been like? Uh, it, it's been a great journey. Uh, a lot of battles. Obviously never been able to get it, but had a lot of great teammates along the way. And this group is special. And uh, I'm really happy to be sharing this moment with these guys. Congratulations to you, Al. Thank you. And now for something really unique. For the first time ever, the NBA is rec recognizing conference finals most valuable players. The East Trophy is aptly named after one of the greatest forwards in NBA history and a member of the 75th anniversary team, Larry Bird. Once again, to do the honor, Larry Bird's former teammate, welcome back, Cedric Maxwell. Girl, it is a pleasure to be on top now for me to give this MVP trophy out. Let me see here. Jason Taylor. Jason, before this series even started, you and I talked about your five-year journey in the NBA, now winning this conference finals MVP trophy. Just what does this recognition mean to you? Uh, it, it's a great honor. Uh, but, you know, this is some of our fourth time in the conference finals, my third time. Uh, and, and, and to get over the hump with this group, uh, it, it means everything. Uh, so I couldn't be proud of, of these guys. The, the road that we took to get here, uh, you know, not a lot of people believed in us. We took the toughest route, and uh, it, it worked out. Why did you decide to wear the Kobe Bryant armband tonight? Uh, game seven. Um, everybody know how much he means to me. You know, my idol and you know, my favorite player. Uh, so just to have something to, you know, to show him um, in, the, in the biggest game of you know, my career so far. Uh, and it worked out. Congratulations to you, Jason. Thank you. Thank you. Jalen. Jalen, I asked you how you were feeling coming into this game, and you said just focus, trying to get over the hump. What does it mean to you to have gotten over the hump? Uh, it means everything. You know, all the adversity, all the struggles, the losses, the wins, everything that we finally got to this moment makes it that much more special. You guys made it interesting down the stretch. What, what was happening? I don't know. <laughs> hey, but we figured it out. Uh, we persevered. Um, Sometimes we like doing it the hard way. I hate that about us, um, but we got the job done, so now we're looking forward to the future. You got it done. Congratulations to you, Jalen. Marcus, come on over here. Marcus, after not getting it done, game six, how sweet is it to get it done on the road? It's amazing. Obviously, we would, we would like to have got it done in front of our crowd, but it's come here against this team, this organization, the way that they play, the way that they leave it all on the court, it's only right. This is amazing. We finally got over the hump. What was it about your defense tonight that was not going to be denied, that was not going to let Jimmy Butler or anybody else beat you? Togetherness. We gave it. We Everybody coming into this game, just we all talk and said we're going to leave everything we have on this court. 
whether we win or lose, we can't leave here tonight saying, I wish I could have done more. And that's what the outcome came, and we won this game. Congratulations to you, Marcus. Congratulations to all of you guys. You're going to the finals. Once again, the 2022 Eastern Conference champion, Boston Celtics.